Today I'm in one of the most popular towns in the south of Scotland, Kirkubri. Ah yes, that pronunciation. Ignore the spelling, it's Kirkubri, with emphasis on the coo. The town of the Church of St Cuthbert is an ancient place. Made a borough under the Lords of Galloway in 1369, King James I proclaimed it a royal borough in 1455. In the 1400s, no less than a quarter of Scotland's cloth exports were loaded at this quayside. Maclellan's Castle in the centre of the town was built in 1582 as a lavish family home, famously appearing in a 16th century episode of Grand Designs. The toll booth dates from around 1629. John Paul Jones, the founder of the American Navy, was once locked up here. But it's the colourful Georgian buildings that really shine, built at a time of real prosperity for the growing Galloway port. With its handsome townscape and special light, artists began to flock to the town during the 19th century, and they've been coming ever since. But ahead of the population, Kirkubri is without doubt one of the most creative spots in Scotland. And the best time to witness that creativity is during the annual Arts and Crafts Trail, when the creatives open up their doors. I've come to meet the man responsible for the Arts and Crafts Trail, Colin Saul. His house? Well, it's very easy to spot. Colin, what is the Arts and Crafts Trail and why is it so important for Kirkubri? Okay, well the actual trail started 21 years ago. It started with just a dozen or so standard studios with art on the wall and a couple of gardens. And it's just grown and grown so that now, well this year we have 136 venues and it's a whole mix of studios, gardens, sheds, halls, galleries and open spaces but the very very important thing is it's totally inclusive we always include anybody that asks to join in there's no qualification and that's what makes it so unique and fun over the weekend of four days uh, we get about 4,000 people and they keep returning because they know it's a unique experience very family friendly and largely free. This is uh, Greengate which is the former home of Jessie M King. She of course was a, a painter and a jewellery maker from the 1920s or thereabouts and her husband also was a furniture maker and he used to uh, operate from here. And you are now the proud custodian of this house? Uh, that's correct, I've uh, been here for 22 years uh, and it's something that we have always shared with anyone. Colin, I've seen that there are some rather quirky installations around the town and I understand that they are your work. <laughs> quirky, that's something that we pride ourselves on. Different and unusual. And some examples, uh, I'm stood next to the shell lady here. Um, Across the way we have the flying machine, which doesn't always fly. Now I've seen Rapunzel in the castle, is that you? <laughs> well, not quite, but uh, I did actually place her in the castle uh, this week because um, she's been waiting to be rescued from that window for the last 15 years. Uh, her hair reaches all the way nearly to the ground. She's just waiting and waiting, but uh, I'm not quite sure she'll get rescued even this weekend, which is quite a spectacular sight. Why do artists still flock to this small town in Dumfries and Galloway? It's 
hard to put your finger on it, but um, it's the light. Everybody says the light, which is very similar to the light you get in Northern France, in Brittany, which also has artist communities. Uh, for me, being a landscape painter primarily, it's the, uh, it's the diversity of landscape that goes from the coast to the farmland and up into the hills in, in you know, a matter of a few miles and it stretches for the whole of Dumfries and Galloway. The coastal, the tidal rise is very big so it's never the same, you know, wherever you go, the light, the state of the tide, um, the time of the year, the way the weather changes so quickly. All of those things, it's just Galloway, Dumfries and Galloway, it's just different from anywhere else that I've experienced. At Printmaker's Corner, you'll find the brilliant Joshua Miles. Hi, I'm Joshua Miles. I do reduction lino cuts. I start off with a photograph, draw on my lino, carve it with a chisel, and then I mix my ink on a glass sheet, get my ink evenly on the roller, cover it in ink, and then I print on my printing press. So I normally do this process by cutting the lino four times. The whole process takes two and a half weeks but to cut one layer would be about two days, but I cut it four times. So every time I cut away more of the surface, so they call it a reduction block liner. I love rock pools. Uh, the coastline here is absolutely exquisite. The, the thing that captures me the most about rock pools is the reflection that changes to depth. And to catch that kind of feeling is you catching a little bit of magic. I want to take you to one of my favourite galleries in Kirkcubri. The High Street Gallery started officially in 2000. My husband Richard and myself started the gallery, both graduates of Glasgow School of Art, and that's what we keep, basically graduates from the 19th century up to present day. So uh, all these artists trained at Glasgow or Edinburgh so we're trying to keep up the quality of painting, quite traditional painting, although we do do uh, some abstract as well. Because I have the gallery basically, well, four days a week, um, I don't have time to paint anymore at the moment. Maybe when I retire, that would be quite nice. But at the moment I do these little mirrors, which are um, from original artwork, but put through computer creative things like Affinity, Photoshop. I never thought I would like it, but it's actually great fun. Just could be there for hours. So that's, that's what I produce at the moment. So just a bit different. So amongst all this classical art, we have digital art. Yes, yes. My husband Richard did a lot of digital art with his original paintings. On a visit to Kirkcubri in 1726, Daniel Defoe was unimpressed. He commented, a pleasant situation, and yet nothing pleasant to be seen. Well, Daniel, I think you'd have a very different opinion if you visited today. Yeah. 